the MediaPipe Pose Landmarker task lets you detect landmarks of human bodies in an image or video. You can use this task to identify key body locations, analyze posture, and categorize movements. There are APIs available for Android, Python, the web, Raspberry Pi, and iOS. To get started using the Pose Landmark Detection task for the web, it's a good idea to know a bit about the Pose Landmarker model. The task uses a model bundle with two packaged models, a model that detects the presence of human bodies within an image frame and a model that locates landmarks on the bodies. It uses a convolutional neural network optimized for on-device, real-time fitness applications. This variant of the Blaze Pose model uses GHUM, a 3D human-shaped modeling pipeline, to estimate the full 3D body pose of an individual in images or videos. If you're someone who likes to get into the weeds on a topic, I've included a link to research papers on GHUM and the Blaze Pose model. The pose detection model detects the presence of bodies with a few key pose landmarks, while the pose landmarker model tracks 33 body landmark locations, representing the approximate location of the body parts shown in this diagram. Eyes, nose, mouth, ears, shoulders, elbows, wrists, pinkies, index fingers, thumbs, hips, knees, ankles, and feet are all marked with key points. There are light, full, and heavy versions of the model, each strikes a different balance between speed, size, and accuracy. If you're like me and you prefer to get hands-on with your learning, you can try this task out in MediaPipe Studio to see it in action. You can also try out different configuration options so you can see everything the task can do. Using MediaPipe Studio is a great way to familiarize yourself with the capabilities of MediaPipe tasks and to determine which model version best suits your app. Now that you're more familiar with the available Pose Landmarker models, you're ready to add MediaPipe solutions to your app. First, install the Tasks Vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. Then you can initialize the Pose Landmarker so it's ready to run detection. Here we have a function, create Pose Landmarker, in which we initialize the Pose Landmarker. First, we configure our WebAssembly binary using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. WebAssembly, or WASM, is a binary instruction format for a stack-based VM. You don't need to be familiar with WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. Knowing that WASM allows non-web-based code to run on the web is good enough to get started. Then, we create the pose landmark detector using the pose landmarker create from options method passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. Notice that I load the WASM binary and the model from URLs rather than local paths. Given the size of these files, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary in your app. You should store them server-side and provide links when initializing your pose landmark detector. You can also provide optional parameters upon initialization. I've shown them here with their default values so you can know their names. The running mode is either image or video, depending on whether you segment images or videos. Image is the default value. Num poses is the maximum number of poses that can be detected by the pose landmarker. It's an integer value greater than zero with a default value of one. Min pose detection confidence is the minimum confidence score for the pose detection to be considered successful. Min pose presence confidence is the minimum confidence score of pose presence score in the pose landmark detection. Min tracking confidence is the minimum confidence score for the pose tracking to be considered successful. These three confidence scores are float values between zero and one with a default value of 0 0.5. Output segmentation masks is a Boolean value that determines whether pose landmarker outputs segmentation mask for the detected pose. Its default value is false. To run pose landmark detection on an image, use the pose landmarker.detect method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is good to keep in mind when designing your UI. The image source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML video element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. Calling detect returns a pose landmarker result object. The result object contains both normalized coordinates and world coordinates for each landmark. 
the landmark coordinates are normalized between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 by the image width designated with x and height designated with y. Z is the landmark depth, with the depth at the midpoint of the hips as the origin. The smaller the value, the closer the landmark is to the camera. The magnitude of Z uses roughly the same scale as X. Finally, normalized coordinates indicate a visibility attribute, which denotes the likelihood of the landmark being visible within the image. World landmarks include X, Y, and Z attributes representing the real-world three-dimensional coordinates in meters with the midpoint of the hips as the origin. They also include a visibility attribute, which again is the likelihood of the landmark being visible within the image. The Tasks Vision package has a built-in helper function for drawing pose landmarks and pose connections on a Canvas element. First, create an instance of the Drawing Utils class. Then iterate through the pose landmarks and call the drawingutils.drawlandmarks method, passing the landmarks and a radius value. You can draw pose connections using the drawingutils.drawconnectors method, passing the pose landmarks and the pose connections attribute from the pose landmarker class. This results in landmarks drawn on the canvas, like this image here. To detect pose landmarks in frames of a video, get the current time using performance now. Then get the pose landmarker result using pose landmarker detect for video method, passing your video element and the current time. There you have it. With this code, you can get started with pose landmark detection in your own app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen. You can also view all the available solutions on the MediaPipe website or get hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these resources are linked in the video description. I always like to know what y'all are up to, so leave a comment and tell me what you're working on, what you learned, and what you still want to know. I can't wait to see what you build.